everybody, it's me, Jeff Keeley. We are getting ready for live with YouTube Gaming here. In fact, we are 15 minutes away from the start of the live show. Uh, and before we start with this week's episode, I uh, thought I'd play a little game. Uh, and this is something I'm really excited about. Uh, Duke Nukem 3D World Tour 20th Anniversary. Uh, 20 years ago, I remember playing the original Duke 3D. Such a classic game on PC, and the guys at Gearbox were kind enough to hook me up with a code to check this out. It comes out next week, and what's cool about this is it's a uh, remastering of, not really a remastering, I didn't completely update the graphics, but it's uh, taking sort of the old game, they updated the sound effects, and they added a new uh, whole episode, a fifth episode of the game that was created by some of the, the guys that built the original Duke 3D, still on the old build 3D engine. Um, they added some director's commentary. So anyways, as we count down to the show, I uh, thought I would jump in and play a little of Duke 3D here. Uh, well, I'm going to start with Hollywood Holocaust, which was one of my favorite Let's rock. multiplayer levels. Dance. See how much I remember. Bastards are gonna pay for shooting up my ride. All right, so uh, see what I remember here. They've added these cool commentary. So notes. we are doing developer commentary. All right, that's Randy Pitcher from Gearbox. Uh, so see how much of this level I remember here as I play through. We got a great show for you guys coming up oh. in just a few minutes here. By the way, uh, we've got uh, the Elder Scrolls Online update on the uh, the housing, which is a highly anticipated feature. Let me see how many secrets I remember here. I think you can jump up here. Yeah, and in this window, this is all from memory from 20 years ago. Um, to get through this level. Oh, Let's see what I, I think. There's a yeah, nice some steroids. Anyways, um, lots of cool stuff in the show. So Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, we've also got some updates for you guys on all things uh, VR. Oculus Connect was this morning. Uh, some very cool new games announced uh, that we will be talking about in the show. One of my favorite things to do 3D was how interactive everything was. And if you actually went up to this water fountain, watch this, your health is going to go up if you drink it correctly, I think. Just your health, I think, goes up, no? Maybe not. There you go. There you go. See? Health going up when you drink the water fountain. Anyway, so uh, Duke 3D coming out next week. This week on the show, we're talking VR. We've got Elder Scrolls Online and uh, also have uh, Madeline Bailey coming by. Uh, if you haven't checked out her YouTube channel, you should. And she'll be performing uh, live on the show. And if I get through this level... Oh, yeah, here's... This is the movie theater. If you remember, you open up the movie theater. Or open up, open up the screen here. You can rocket launch into it. There is also a Hollow Duke uh, in this level that uh, you can get upstairs, which is very fun. All right, uh, going through here. You can turn on the lights here if I remember right. Oh yeah. Take this guy down. Incredible animation. I need to get this shotgun is what I need. All right, get some health back here. Oh, you bastard. All right. Lots of uh, developer commentary nodes. Uh, I think that opens a secret back here, if I remember correctly. Oh, there's a shotgun. Nice. Very exciting. Now, Duke. Oh, these are security cameras. Remember, right? You can look through the level. A secret guy hiding up there in the bathroom. That's the movie projector, the atomic health, and uh, you can fire a rocket through there into the screen. So many good memories of Duke Nukem 3D. Uh, this was well, the first game that was on the build engine, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then 3D Realms made about four games on the build engine, including uh, Shadow Warrior, Blood, and there was a fourth game that was like set in Egypt. I can't remember Groovy. quite what that one was called or if it ever came out. Uh, but anyway, so this was uh, classic. Go up to the arcade here. I believe this is where you can get the Hollow Duke, if I remember correctly. Uh, tons of fun here. Oh, you bastard! You bastard! Oh yeah. Don't have time to play with myself. Those classic Duke lines that have been. Uh, I think the Hollow Duke's like right around here. 
If I remember, I'm, this is all based on memory. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. I think there is a holodeuk somewhere around here. Maybe I'm wrong? Someone probably knows in the chat, but I thought there was like a holodeuk up here somewhere. Like over here? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, alright. Uh, anyways, oh, I gotta get the red key card, which I don't have. Remember when all these shooters always had key cards that you had to go after? Uh, alright, I gotta duck down here. Back to this level, back up, I think. I'm gonna start running now. I think you go up here. Oh, yeah. Classic Duke, and I, I don't think Duke actually has been on Steam, Duke 3D, believe it or not, so it's kind of cool. But this cloud, there's the red key card I'm gonna need. Jump up here for atomic health. Get some steroid. It's 124 health. Things looking pretty good for me. Oh, and there's the rocket launcher. Very exciting. If I remember right, you open this and then fire this off. Oh yeah, classic Duke Nukem 3D. Uh, all right, very exciting. Um, we're gonna head on downstairs now that I have the red key card. Hopefully finish this level and then go look at uh, one of the new levels if we can. Oh my god. Should I? Dancing with death. Trusty old pistol, all right. Uh, head on around here, up to the arcade. And then we're gonna use the red key card. I think we're almost at the end of the level here. I thought there was a hollow dude. I must be forgetting. Anyways, oh, pig cop! Remember these pig cops? All right, very exciting. I think there's another one over here. Oh yeah, I should've hit the fire extinguisher. I would've taken him down. All right, back to the shotgun. Very exciting. Pig cop here. Oh yeah, end of the level, baby. All right, Hollywood Holocaust completed. Kind of slow. I missed five secrets. I missed the holodoo. All right, let's uh, let's go back to. Let's not do that level. Let's go back to this oh. new stuff, which is the Alien World Order. Um, many many levels here. Let's start with high time. Let's rock. And see this. So this is this is brand new stuff. I'm getting too old for this shit. Uh, brand new stuff that they have created. The original designers using the old build engine. Never seen this before. <clears throat> so we're discovering brand new Duke 3D maps made with 20-year-old technology. Ooh. I've got the shotgun. <sighs> Who is firing at me? This bastard right here. Uh, Duke Nukem Forever, as you remember, took forever to come out. Uh, this game was just announced, I, I, I want to say maybe at PAX? Uh, but anyways, uh, very recently announced, and I, I don't actually know what they're charging for it, but I'm sure it's not full 60 bucks. This is a labor of love here. One of the best things about Duke 3 were all the interactive modes. You guys remember like the interactive pool table that they had and things like that. So hopefully there'll be some fun interactive moments here. And again, this was 3D shooters back when like, you know, 3D was still a bit of a novelty. This was kind of, you know, post Doom. Uh, Doom was made by id Software after uh, Wolfenstein 3D, and then 3D Realms came along and uh, used this build engine, which was actually created by a programmer named Ken, um, who built a game called Ken's Labyrinth for Epic Games. And then he uh, got hired away by Apogee, which turned into 3D Realms to create all these 3D games, which included Duke 3D, which was the most successful of them all. Oh, Pink Cop versus me, ah! That was close. 27 health, no armor, no ammo. Oh, we got a little ammo here, all right. Uh, with 51 bullets in the chamber. Or probably not in the chamber, all right. Uh, maybe over here? Nope, not gonna let me do that. All right, we gotta figure out what we're doing here, guys. Uh, 
Looks like there's commentary. Yeah, I've never been there myself, and I just thought it was a, a well, good location. I mean, a typical place that Duke would probably go to for vacation or you got all the... Looks like Amsterdam to me. I could be wrong, though. Um, all right, well... Where should we be going here? It sucks when I don't remember how to play the levels. That's not going to open for me. Oh, there's my key card. Missed it before. All right. Take Cop versus me with 27 health. Ah, he took me down. You have died. Replay this level from any point. Interesting. This is new. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Now I gotta figure out how to beat this guy with 27 health. Ah! Hmm. Further back in time. This will be the challenge, and I got four minutes until the live show. Can I take down this pig cop with 27 health? I think I got steroids. Let me figure out what. I don't remember what. How you get steroids. Holoduke jet. R for steroids. I don't know if I have any. Nope, no steroids. That's not gonna happen. Shotgun ammo. Oh, here we go. Nice! Now we can take him down. Alright, now we're back in business. 325 to the live show. We are running quickly over the blue key card. Look how fa fast we're moving. Oh, yeah. In we go. Alright. Uh, looks like we're in a fine Amsterdam establishment here. Going on there? Can I portal up or something? No. All right. Need a yellow key card. Isn't this riveting content, guys? Uh, anyways, it is fun to kind of see Duke brought back to life. Go back here. Two fifty to the live show. Anyways, we're gonna have a fun show today. Uh, we're gonna kick things off with a news discussion about all things uh, PlayStation VR and Oculus. And then we are going to have Matt from Zenimax Online join us to talk about uh, all things Elder Scrolls Online. And uh, we've got some other great stuff happening. We're going to have a VR demo. We're going to talk about Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. I hope you guys have been following that. But a lot happened yesterday uh, with the developers seemingly maybe delaying the game and then releasing kind of this uh, other version of it online. Um, as a preview of it, uh, no one quite knows what's going on. It's, oh my god, here's here's the pool table. It's one of my favorite parts of Duke, was the interactive pool table. And you can actually, like, actually, like, fireballs here. This was, like, back in 1996, this was crazy. They had urinals that Duke could use. Uh... So much fun. This was like, oh, that's cool. They brought that back. Uh, oh, is this foosball I can play? Mm, this may not be interactive. Anyways, uh, Duke Nukem 20th anniversary is coming out uh, next week from the guys at Gearbox. So make sure to check it out. Um, lots of cool stuff happening. I uh, wish I could get my yellow key card here. So I can move on to what's next. Maybe hit these. Oh yeah, here we go. Secret passage. Oh. All right, we're gonna have to game this again. Ah, oh, what should I be doing? Need to slow down time or put something in front of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I got to crouch. All right. All these old kids. There is crouch. All right. Boom. Oh. Oh. We have to get this for the live show, and I have 30 seconds. Mm, annoying. Isn't this fun? 
Oh, it's not going to happen. All right, guys, that was uh, Duke Nukem 3D uh, 20th Anniversary World Tour, and uh, we are now ready for live with YouTube Gaming. Enjoy the live episode.